Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is having a great day today. So today's video, this is going to be part one of two. This one we're going to be going over a ton of spoilers that we have for the August BoxyCharm box. This is going to include the base box and premium. Now in part two of my spoiler series, we're going to be going over variations. I want to stress that this is not 100% confirmed. This is just what I've been able to find out there posted online and little bits here and there from surveys and just everything that I've been able to put together for the videos. So yes, I'm splitting it up this way because not everyone wants to see the variation. They want to be surprised, but they're still interested in what could be in their box. So we're going to try it this way this month. If you guys don't like it, feel free to let me know down below and we'll go back to do it the other way moving forward. So yes, if you're new here, if you are a fan of BoxyCharm, if you're a fan of subscription boxes, makeup, just all, you know, all that good stuff, make sure you take a quick second to hit that subscribe button. And now let's get into it. Whew. Okay. So guys, today's look is a little bit out there. I don't normally go this dramatic with my makeup, but I just wanted to try something a little bit different. And especially, um, if you remember my, whenever I did my premium unboxing and it had the, Manny MUA Prism Nude Prism Palette and I the look that I came up with like everything was coming up pink on me no matter what I did it was just coming up that way and I wanted to try it again just do sort of a little bit different look because I did notice after the fact like after that video that this shade in particular Bloom For You this is the one that really showed up pink on me um, I went back and tried packing it on my lid and then it was it finally was the color that's in the pan so I wanted to try it a little bit differently and not, you know, smoke it like blend it out so much. I just kind of pressed the pigment in place and kind of went from there. And it did so much better this time. We went just full on glam for today's video. I got the lashes on. I got kind of a, a darker lip. So I don't know what you would call this look. Maybe it's like a, it kind of looks like grunge a little bit to me, especially with the, the dark shirt and I just re my hair just the the tip of it just you know just where it was blonde just went with red and it's just kind of like a, a whole theme today but yes anyways we are here to talk about spoilers and I have a ton of notes to go over some of them might take me a second because I was really trying to cram as much as I could into this uh, my notes for this video but yes First off, we're going to start with the Barsha Charm Premium Box. The first potential spoiler that we have, and this is from Playa, and it's the Money Milk Leave-In Conditioner. I've tried a few other things from Playa, um, like the beach spray that they have. Love that to pieces. So, leave-in conditioners, you know, I'm trying my best to take care of my hair as I'm growing the bleach out. So, yes, I will be very happy with that. The next item we have is from Ofer Cosmetics, and I love me some Ofer Cosmetics. Everyone knows about their highlighters, they're legendary, everyone has one in their collection. But the thing that most people don't really know about or have a lot of experience with are their eyeshadow palettes. Now, I'm not sure which, which one exactly is going to be in the box, but I have a couple in my personal collection. These are their signature five pan eyeshadow palettes. So I figured I would just show you. Um, the first one that I have is Getaway. And this one, if I had to take a guess, it would be more like this because all of the spoilers I've seen in the surveys, they're showing more of their neutral palette. I love this. I have used this so many times. And in fact, I took this recently on my vacation. Love it to death. Their formula and pigmentation, like everybody loves Ofra. Like, raise your hand if you have an Ofra highlighter in your collection. I guarantee 99% of you are raising that hand. But their eyeshadow palettes is something that is just easily looked over. But they're so good. I love the, the layout in these. And plus, you get like a little mini highlighter in each of them there in the center. They're so nice. I've actually done um, a couple of videos using these. Uh, this one, like it's been a while. If I can remember wh which video it was that I used this on camera, I'll make sure I link it down below in the description box. But yes, you have the potential to get one of these eyeshadow palettes in your box. Then next up, we have a couple of items from Complex Culture. And in case you aren't aware, this is actually Ipsy's brand. And with Ipsy on and BoxyCharm, I think we're just going to keep seeing more and more of them in the box. I, it's okay. I'm not going to complain because a couple of products I've gotten from them, I've actually really liked the quality. They're very nice. But the first one that we have, this is the Pout Clout Lipstick. I'm not sure what shade it's going to be, so I'll have a few here on the screen of possibilities that we could be getting. And the other item is the Good Glow Blush Duo. This looks really pretty. I, I love a good blush duo, so. 
Then next up we have an item that I'm not familiar with. Um, this is Melloway Makeup. And it's Melloway Makeup Your Way Mascara. Never heard of this brand. I don't have any opinions on them. Just here's another mascara. <laughs> The next item that we have is from Lawless Beauty, and I'm pretty sure I got this in a previous boxy charm. But this is the Forget the Filler Lip Plumping Lime Smoothing Gloss. That's a mouthful. And the shade that I received was Rosy Outlook. I think I got this in, um, wasn't a premium previously. I like the packaging on here, and it does plump up your lips a little bit, but it's not to the point where it's going to feel like they're on fire. <laughs> Thank goodness. Like, if you got that Too Faced Maximum Injection and you hated it, you will be just fine with this, I promise. There's a few repeats in, in spoilers today, so if you've gotten them previously, um, and you if you were to get it again in your box, make sure you email their team, let them know so that they can set up something. It uh, used to be they would do credit or they would send a replacement. I don't know what they do now because I haven't had any... Thank goodness I haven't had any issues with anything on my end. So if you have any experience, feel free to drop it down below so that we kind of know what's going on. Then next up from Alpha H Skincare. This is their Balancing Cleanser. If you saw me talking about in a previous video where I used uh, some of my mom's skincare from Alpha H and it burned the crap out of my skin. Their skin is... For it's advanced skincare. It's a little bit too intense for me, but with it being a cleanser, I'm hoping you'll be just fine. There's not anything that I think will cause any major irritation, but that stuff is not playing. <laughs> that is some really, really intense skincare. Then next we have another repeat. Um, this is from Lorac Cosmetics. It is the Light Source Illuminating 3-in-1 Primer. I don't know why. Some of these spoilers in the video today, they're kind of taking me back to 2019. Like I'm getting that feeling about some of them. Am I alone? But as far as the product itself, it is really good. I have it in my collection. I've, I've had it for a while. It needs, I'm not going to pull it out and show you guys because it's, it's old. I actually honestly need to get rid of it. So if I get it again, it's not a problem. Um, there's different variations of it. I don't know if there's going to be different variations for the box, but for, as far as the base one, very hydrating, very leaves your skin feeling juicy and plump and ready for your makeup. Then next up from Trey Luce Beauty, this is the Forever Brilliant Metallic Liquid Eyeshadow. I didn't get this in a previous box, so if I get it this time, I'll be very happy. Honestly, I just want a bunch of Trey Luce. I, the beauty, like... The brand is so beautiful. I love all the products. I love the packaging, the consistency of everything across the board. I have been really enjoying. So, uh, again, no complaints there. Now, this next item you may recognize, um, back to when I was saying that some of these spoilers are reminding me of 2019. Who got this in their box? I want to say we got this in a Lux box at some point, but it's going to be in premium. And I had to break it out of storage because, honestly, I don't even know if I ever use this. Not that there's anything wrong with the brand. I've had a few things or, you know, some other tools from them and they all work just fine. It's just, I don't, maybe, yeah, I might use this. I really, really hope Box of Charm is keeping up with who's gotten what in the box because nobody needs duplicates of this item for sure. Now, this next one, we have gotten the brand in the box previously. This is from Kat Berkey Skincare, and this is the Nutrient C Eye Cream. Everyone loves a good eye cream. The next item that we have, um, this is from a brand we received previously in the box. Do you remember these guys here? The Starry Eyed Self Indulgent, nope, Indulgent Self Warming Eye Mask. These are really good, um, not necessarily for like beautifying yourself, which I mean, they are for that. But I love to use these whenever I have a migraine, and it kind of just relaxes you. But we're going to be getting another product from this brand. But these are the Sleepover Self-Warming Steam Masks. Um, they are rose-scented, and you do get a pack of five in the box. Never tried this product before, um, but you leave it on for 30 minutes. And again, I kind of think it's really the same thing as this. I think it's pretty much the same experience, but maybe um, more like a sleeping mask, like the cloth ones that you wear, and maybe more like that. Now, the last thing I want to talk about for premium, again, these aren't confirmed. This is just um, things that I've seen online. They are potential brands going to be in the box next month. First one is going to be Too Faced, Pharmacy, and Huda Beauty. 
I did see a survey about an item from Huda Beauty. It's the uh, Glowish Soft Radiance Bronzer. That one's so interesting to look at, so I'm okay with it if it comes in the box. Again, not confirmed. Okay, so now let's switch it up to the base box. First thing that we have, um, actually the first two because these were choice items. From OPV Beauty, we have a face palette, and there were different variations in the shades for that for light, medium, and deep. Very glad that Boxy Charm did that. And OPV Beauty has some beautiful makeup. I'm sure that's going to be a great quality. And the second item was the Glow Recipe Avocado Melt Retinol Eye Cream. I thought I had that in my collection. Uh, I went looking through my skincare because I, I just I knew we had something avocado avocado from Glow Recipe, but it was the Retinol Sleeping Mask. So I didn't have that one to show you guys. Next item we have is for my brush, makeup brush lovers. This is from Larousse Beauty and it's the five piece brush set. Retails for $50 and actually I have that set. Hold on a second. Let me go get it so I can show you guys what it looks like. Okay. I had to dust this one off. I haven't actually used it. I think I got this in a Luxe box. It even has a little sleeve in here. I like Larousse Beauty even though it doesn't look like it because I haven't used this. It's just I haven't had a chance to go through my brushes yet. But it does come in this really, really awesome case. Um, we've gotten... Oh my gosh. Why can I not open that? Oh. <laughs> um, we had gotten brushes from them several times in the box. And I love the quality of all of them. They make my favorite foundation brush. And it's dirty because that's what I use today. Um, this one, in case anyone is curious, is the LR322 Kabuki brush. But yes, in the collection, you do get five brushes. So for your foundation, you're going to get a duo fiber brush. I have never used this brush before. And honestly, I'm, I'm, I'm shy of duo fiber brushes. <laughs> I just don't use them. I haven't had much experience with them. If you have any tips, let me know. Um, and then the next brush that we have is the angle brush. I have this somewhere. Love their brushes. They're so incredibly soft, so beautiful. And I like the texture on them. It makes them, I don't know, just a whole experience using them. We have a tapered blending brush. We have your flat shader brush. And then you have a concealer brush, which I need to start using this now. I go through concealer brushes like crazy. I can use all that I can get. So yes, very awesome set there in case you didn't get it in a previous box. Now is your chance to get it now. Then next we have from Persona Cosmetics. This is the Swipe Up Brow Gel. Retails for $19. Beauty for Certain Lipstick. Retails for $18. Beauty for Certain. That's such a unique name, but I like their products. They have the bombest liquid eyeliner. Love it so much. And moving on for our hair care lovers. This is from Mud Masky. And it is the Root Feeding Hair Mask. Retails for $29. Lila got thirsty. Are you such a pretty girl? Yes, you are. Do you want to say hey to the people? Oh, nope. Say so you keep making loud noises. I'm not going to come see you. Next item that we have is from First Aid Beauty, and this is the Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer. It won't be in this specific packaging. This is the birthday edition, which probably need to throw this away too because I've had it open for a while. I got several of these. Um, in different boxes there for a while and I kind of kept on like held on to them um, none of them are open except this one but I think I'm going to have to declutter it because it has been a while but yes really like this primer it is illuminating it is hydrating leaves your skin feeling amazing for your makeup love this one plus it's kind of a dual, dual action product with it being a primer and a moisturizer in one so you can cut down some of your makeup routine that way then we have a new item from Cab Cosmetics it is their setting powder We've been getting several things from Cab Cosmetics, but they're available in Walmart now, and they're just showing up in all kinds of subscription boxes, and I don't see that stopping anytime soon. The only thing I haven't liked from Cab Cosmetics was that contour palette, just because it is so orange. Huge pans, huge amount of product, really like that part of it, but it's just a bunch of shades that I can't use. So, hopefully the setting powder, they've got the shades figured out on that. And then we have from Natasha Denona, the Cupid Eyeshadow Palette. And this is another one of those that was made in collaboration with BoxyCharm. You can't buy anywhere else. It is only available from BoxyCharm. This one, I want to say, come out in... 
December? It was cold. Like, it wasn't even that far off. It wasn't February, because I remember thinking this would have been perfect during that time, but it didn't come out that time. I think it was, like, December or January, something like that. But anyways, I've used this palette several times. It's beautiful. All of the Natasha Denona shadows I'm a big fan of, so if you haven't gotten this in previous box, I really hope you can get it this time, because it is a stunning palette and a beautiful addition to any collection. It almost looks like I'm wearing it now. Kind of the... The deeper look that I got going on. And the last item that we have is from Shadow Moon. This is the reusable shadow shield. Um, I have not had a chance to try this. The box that I, that this came in, I, I haven't had a chance to unbox it. Like, I just, I overlooked it and I didn't get a chance to do it. But here it is. You put it, I'm going to poke myself in the eye, um, but you put it down here and line it up that way you can do your eyeshadow and you can take it away and you have a sharp edge if you like the more like the crisp edge on the edge of your eyeshadow <laughs> um but that way you don't have to use tape on your skin you have something you can just kind of hold in place it's reusable i do like that about it um but if you have this tell me does this not feel like a pasty to you like, that was the first thing I thought whenever I took it out of the box. And I thought you were going to get two of these. Like, for some reason, I thought that they would be somewhat sticky. And then you could do, like, like one at, like, both at the same time. But you only get one. So you have to hold it up. If it drives you crazy doing that while you're doing your makeup, then I would just stick to tape. But otherwise, this is really good. And you wouldn't have to worry about disturbing your foundation or your powder or anything like that. Really handy if you're the type of person who likes to do your foundation first and your base before your eyeshadow. So yes, that is everything that I know so far for the August boxes, base box, bleh, base box and premium. Guys, sorry I've been away. Um, there have been crazy things going on here at the office, and then we went on vacation. Like, I, I took a lot of videos, so you're going to see what happened soon. But yeah, let me know what you think of these spoilers. Are you excited about them? Are you feeling like a lot of 2019 like I am? Just let me know your thoughts on it. I love you all. Thank you again for taking time to watch this video. And make sure you check out my other one where I go over the variations that we could potentially get. Yes. Have a great night. I love you all. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.